Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Land, please enter the Gungeon. Last episode, incredible, died on the boss. I really think if we could have made it to the final phase of that boss, we might have had a chance, but it was going real well. We got 11 hegemony credits, what do you got for me? Oh my god. Gundromeda strain, 25 freaking, I don't know about that, man, that's gonna be, I, maybe, we'll see. If I have another two runs, roughly as good as the last one that I had, the chance exists, at least. Um, yeah, I mean, last run was incredible. We got the Mega Buster, we got the Vertebrae K47, we died on the final boss, probably as a direct result of, of just not having very much HP. And I mean that in terms of, like, our containers. We only had four. Really like to have a little bit more than that, um, but the chance exists. We gotta open this, obviously. It's not getting any better than that. Orange Guanstone, uh, bullets have a chance to ignite, I think. On this one, am I going to try to get down to the, uh, sewers? Well, I mean, we, we sort of might as well. If we have the, uh... If we have the water barrel there, and the fireplace is reasonably close. Mostly, we didn't break the water barrel to start with, so I think that's a pretty positive thing for us. We could roll that in there. We, we are going to need either two keys or really, really good lockpick luck. But the number one thing that we need right off the bat is definitely just better armor. Um, not better armor, sorry, better weaponry. Better armor, what am I, I've got, got it confused with Dark Souls now. But, um, we're not really doing a whole hell of a lot here with uh, what we've got going on weapon-wise. I just want to look at that orange guan stone. Attacks enemies. Oh, okay, it just hits enemies. Yeah, okay, I watched it here. Look, it's no super space turtle. But I can always uh, do with an occasional extra shot or something like that. Ooh, extra armor. That is very useful. Maybe they heard me asking for extra armor and I need to go, No, 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 you don't understand, you misheard. Um, I did use a key, so unfortunately, you know, the, the sewer level might be a little bit of a pipe dream for us. Again, as I say, uh... Every time here, it's not my number one priority to beat the game, you know, all secrets done in the first three weeks or something like that. Mostly, I am, uh, I'm invested in this, you know, experiential, lear experiential learning thing. Uh, I want to get better every single run. At least long term, get better every single run. Have a positive trend. I think so far that's definitely been the case. And the last two runs have, have been indicative of that for sure. We haven't even come close to dying on the first two floors, you know, in, in recent memory, which is awesome. This room's just extra bullets over and over, which is fine by me. In terms of lockpick usage, I've really evolved in, in thinking about it. It used to be, um, you know, anytime you come across a chest, why waste a key? Use your lockpick instead. I don't think that's the right course of action. The right course of action is, if uh, you don't have a key at the end, use a lockpick. People have also told me, use a lockpick on brown chests because they're not worth using a, um, they're not worth using an actual key on. We could save that key for a later chest. So that's a strategy I'm going to try to employ here. It may be suboptimal. It may be the greatest super optimal strategy we've ever seen in our lives. But, you know, experimentation is the heart of the scientific method, man. Always, I, I find it so sad when people, like, shame you for experimenting and uh, making mistakes as if everybody should be perfect on their first attempt. Yo. We thought light was a particle, then we thought light was a wave, now we got particle wave duality. You know, it's, it's the essence of science, is iterating on mistakes. T-shirt cannon. Uh, honestly, don't really care about buying a key. Maybe. There is an NPC up there. Is the average NPC worth a key? I, mean, I think we've got to not fight the boss, just in case we'd rather have something else. Is the average NPC room worth a key? That's a good question. Can we use a lockpick to try to open that door? Because I think that might be a happy medium. Well, you know what? We have to fight the boss in order to use the lockpick. We need to do a little bit more damage. So I guess we are going to be fighting the boss with our default weapon. Uh, as the pilot, that's not the end of the world, but... Certainly, it's going to be a little bit more of a grind than I would than I would originally like it to be. And it is Gatling Gull with, with fairly minimal cover going on here. I think we should shoot the explosive barrels and... Um, you might be saying, what are you doing, you, you nut job? Much smarter for you to uh, leave those there so you can hit Gatling Gull with them, but in my opinion, um, the Jedi are evil. But also, in my opinion, um, it's important for us to make sure that we don't get blindsided by an explosion that, that we might cause, if I'm being honest here. Okay, don't forget... Oh my god! 
I always get a little too ballsy. Forget to use blanks. I also always call them blinds. Why does this happen? I don't know. They're, they're bombs, they're blinds. It's all the same shit. You know what I'm talking about. I got bigger things on the go here. You know, I'm running the... I'm running the marathon, and you're saying, hey, don't forget to take, uh, you know, chicken breasts out of the freezer for dinner tonight. I'm like, hey, I'm in the middle of mile 24 here. Let's slow slow your roll, you know? We can always just go out to McDonald's instead tonight. It's not a huge problem. Oh, okay, I really thought that he was done. Got one more shot coming in, and then maybe another big shot. No, 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 no. Gotta say, orange guanstone. Not really holding it down in comparison to the turtle from space. Please hit yourself with that missile. Apparently, that's not how that works. He's dead. We didn't have a great fight there, but I think we did okay, considering that we were using our uh, starting pistol. We're gonna get back to full HP. We got 50 credits there. Oh, and the Moon Scraper is an acceptable weapon. I think I'd rather use a lockpick to see what's going on in this NPC room. It works. And it is Map Man, and we have seen the map completely. So this should be a free chest. Or a free gun. Membrane. Green or yellow? So it's like a poison shotgun, maybe? Honestly, I think we use the Moon Scraper to, uh... To clear our rooms, and we use the Membrane for bosses for now, but that may change. The Moon Scraper can get a little bit of extra value because it reflects, but the uh, the Membrane seems like, you know, the status effect might be nice on bosses, might enable us to be a little bit more effective with our crowd control and not run through all of the ammo before we get to the boss. Alternatively, we could use Moon Scraper for bosses because it's a beam, and enemies like the Beholster are, are really, really easy to hit. Oh, that was so dumb. Really, really easy to hit with beam weapons. Um, and then use our uh, Membrane to clear rooms, but we'll see. For now, I honestly have no idea. This could be the right decision, it could be the wrong decision. Focus on not dodging into the pit. I think that's a pretty good start here. Moon Scraper, not particularly, uh... Oh god, ammo efficient here. That's okay, we got our heart back. Well, half of it at least. I already used about 150 ammo here. We put forth that a knave such as thee could never clear this forthcoming room with not but this club. Prove thee can and we will reward thee handsomely. I think that is acceptable. So this gun probably sucks the big one, but... They're unlikely to spawn the world's worst enemies here. It takes forever to reload, too, hilariously enough. Hey, as long as you don't give me the club as my, uh, as my reward, I'm okay with this. We do have the Guan Stone as well, which is occasionally going to do some damage to the enemies, although it appears not, not too, too much. Kind of a whiff for a legendary chest, all things considered. Alright, what do you got for me? Give me my money back, and... Litchy Trigger Finger. Litchy Litchy Trigger Finger. Rate of fire up. Um, I mean... To be real seems relatively worthless with a beam weapon but with other weapons might be worth something we did come across a green chest i consider those you know i guess rare not legendary or epic but but rare at least uh uncommon to put it in the magic the gathering parlance aka probably worth opening if we get a key instead of trying to use our lock pick on but it will depend on what our other chest is as well Seeing a little bit more value out of the Moon Scraper here uh, in its ability to hit around corners and keep ourselves relatively safe. But again, a little bit of ammo inefficiency here, closing in on the halfway point of, uh, of its remaining capacity. But it's going okay. Please, before he even attacks. He's got to be close. Yeah, that's not too bad. Uh, well, from the shop, we have so much money, we may consider it... Ooh, armor, armor and ammo. Sweet. Take the ammo for sure. I was gonna say we may consider buying some ammo, but, uh... Unnecessary, apparently. Because we did get a drop there, and I think that's, that's fair. That room is pretty tough. Wasted a lot of ammo trying to line up a, a dope-ass reflective shot there. Looks like this way does go back around here. What am I looking for primarily right now? Um... Having a better chance to flawless the boss is actually, like, extremely valuable uh, right now. The other thing we could do is just buy HP upgrades, which I would actually be super into. 
totally fine. But, uh, you know, we need to make that happen, obviously. They need to have them for sale. Mustache. People have told me the mustache is pretty sweet. A familiar face? What is it? Chance to heal when money is spent. Ooh, okay. Um, wait, 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 wait. There's a there's a special lady in there. This one goes out to all the special ladies selling me cursed items, like the heart purse. So she does give us a level of curse there, um, but it does give us HP as well, which I think is worth it. Now with curse, we get more jammed enemies. Apparently, the more curses you stack up, um, the worse your life gets. Shrine to a forgotten bullet who laid down his arms. Will you? Well, they didn't give me the option to. I think you have to offer a gun at the altar, but maybe you can't do it if you're cursed or something. Um, so yeah, we want to avoid getting too many levels of curse, but um, one level of curse for an HP seems fine by me. Three blanks. This gives us a pretty solid shot at, uh, at beating this boss without getting hit. Let's do so. And you know what? I might just use the Moon Scraper for now. It is the Anno, or sorry, the Ammo Conda, which now just sounds like the right way to say that snake's name. Moonscraper is doing work, dog. I am not disliking infinite range laser beam here. Just be cool. You know, this is super blind territory. Snack! Oh, too easy. Moon Scraper just destroyed him. So we'll get our HP upgrade, go up to 5 plus armor. Excuse me, my hegemony credit, please. And... And villain. Practical and safe. Shoots anvils. Bosses or rooms? Bosses or rooms? Let's find out when we go to the room. Um, I'm not sure yet. <laughs> I'm I'm genuinely not sure yet. Uh, maybe we'll try to use the membrane as a room clearer temporarily. Okay, well we have more to explore. I would like to explore some more to see if we have a chance to get some keys. Ammo drops will probably go into the moon scraper because it did wreck the boss pretty easily. Oh, it's a jammed Iron Maiden. I hate this enemy. I don't even know what hit me there. I'll accept it. Oh, and the moon scraper. Getting some ammo left. We lost a lot of armor to get that ammo, but that's okay. Uh, we can probably only open one thing because we can't even use the lockpick twice. So I think both chests were like the same level of rarity. Why did I think the Void Marshal was the pilot's starting weapon? Appear to be grossly mistaken there. Oh no, this this chest is less rare than the other one. So we'll try the lockpick on the on the more rare one. Get this. Again, I'm assuming at some point we may have junk that we can sell back. Do you have a key for sale? I cannot recall. No, you do not. You have ammo, which would have been valuable had we not gotten ammo ourselves, but that's okay. I'm not super concerned about the loss of armor. Um, having the ammo is probably more valuable. Okay, we broke it. That's okay. Give me, like, a key or something out of the chest. I think you can only get HP and junk, though. And, and predominantly junk, which honestly, junk was better than HP for us right here anyway. So if you think I'm sad about it, then you're wrong, mister. So, uh, as of right now, I feel like you kind of save Moonscraper for the boss. And then you use the membrane as your room clearer? I don't know. We're going we're gonna to find out how that looks anyway. For now, it's a pretty good run, you know? We got two HP ups on that floor. Moonscraper's clearly doing work. Uh, and villain, I have no idea, man. Maybe a good room clearer, aka utility weapon. I'm kind of liking poison shotgun that, that shoots uh, around corners, though. That's doing some work for me. Three blanks. Really good situation uh, if we're trying to flawless the boss, which we always are. We already have more HP than we had on our last run, and on our last run, we made it all the way to the final boss. Ergo, we're guaranteed to make it to the final boss on this run. In fact, I don't think there's any question in that uh, at all. I, it's pretty much set in stone, I'd say. We have more HP. The only factor that matters. It fires really quickly, too. Which is a bit of a double-edged sword, because it means that it will run out of ammo pretty quickly, but... You know, the ammo drops are, are something that we can't really control. Pretty lucky to not get hit there. 
Or there, for that matter. Lucky us. Okay. Ruka. Hey, buddy, you want to come in? You've been sleeping all day, bud. Come get a taste. Oh, that sounded a little gross. Hey. All right. Let's do this. I think we had 14 hegemony credits. Still not enough to buy anything at all from Mr. Jellyfish Man, I think, so... Long way to go there if we want to hit some level of, um... Of function. Hate this room. Shouldn't use blinds on this room. Maybe easily persuaded to use blinds on this room. Not necessary. Oh, we also picked up a key. The less we have to use the lockpick, the better it is for us. Shop man has no junk dog for s nope, no junk junk dog, but uh, extra keys, which is great, and extra ammo. I think he's got a regular shotgun as well, which is um, not something I'm very interested in. Easy room. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I can't really foresee a world in which I am excited to take the regular shotgun at this point of the game. We have a, a shotgun that seems to be almost strictly better than it from an objective standpoint. I say almost, because in reality, it's probably not. It's probably a little bit more nuanced than that. Hello, my feline friend. Yo, um, you're not selling me. You're not selling me what I want to get this time. I will take the drum clip. I'm wrong, this does not give you extra uh, ammo for each gun. Rather, it gives you a larger magazine size in each gun. Uh, so we have 132, but it's divided in a way that has, uh, you know, with longer periods of time before we have to reload. So is it really that good of an investment? I don't think it's bad. Take the ammo for that there. Um, I don't think it's bad. It kind of ups our DPS to not have to reload, and, you know, maybe for this weapon it's not incredibly meaningful, but I imagine there are probably some weapons for which it means a great deal. Mmm, boss fight. I kind of feel like we should just go for this, man. Let's let's take one shot with the Anvilin villain and see how this looks. It is going to be the Treadnought. I don't know, Anvilin villain doesn't seem good enough. Kind of liking the idea of the Moon Scraper, since we can stay in a relatively safe spot and still kind of hit him behind corners and stuff here. We can also stay at infinite range. Probably going to waste a ton of ammo here, by the way. And that's just that's just part and parcel of doing business. That's the cost of doing business as far as I'm concerned here. Great work. If you want to view paradise, simply look around and view it. Damn it. <laughs> Anything you want to do it. Want to change the world. There's nothing to it. We have one more blank left. And at this point, it's just, you know, that saves us HP. We are going to kill Treadnought. He will die. Moonscraper. Starting to look... I really thought we were going to make it on that one. Starting to look like it has some dubious efficiency at this point. Maybe we actually want to use the membrane on bosses. Maybe we actually want to go, like, insane in the brain? Insane in the membrane? Okay. I mean, like I said, we're going to live. It would have been nicer to uh, live without finding ourselves taking so much ridiculous damage there, but... Uh, Sure, we're still alive. We've got ammunition. I guess we'll take it for the moon scraper. Um, and that's the flame hand, right? The Anne villain seems dysfunctional to me. I'm taking it for the moon scraper, even though we may never use the moon scraper again. Uh, maybe I should use this as a room clearer and then save the membrane for our for our very sensitive work killing bosses, because that seems to be the most effective usage of that so far. Um, that that is probably where we're going to use our key. Get ready. Get ready. Good enough. Yeah, okay. Save your membrane ammo. Toast these turkeys with the moon scraper. It did great work against the ammo conda. It just doesn't seem to be uh doesn't seem to be our weapon of choice moving forward. Oh you can do this, or you can do that, or you can do this, or you can do that. Please stand in the poison, not the water. This run, uh, as compared to our last run, is is much more hard fought right now. And that's a good thing, I think, you know? Uh, I, I think it's a good thing because it's more realistic. Not every run's gonna have the M-Buster 
available. And I'm not talking about a guy who thinks he's fly, also known as a buster. Oh, I stood in the poison like an idiot! Yeah, it took our armor. Moonscraper kills bullets? No, it does not. Dude, that was, like, not acceptable damage. We should be fine. Like, we're leaving the... Uh, you know what? Might as well use the key. Got a boomerang. We can, we can carry two items. So, at least it's not, like, trash. It's not useless. I don't think it's particularly good. We'll come back here. Uh, I can't remember if there's a key available on our shop. You want in too, Tomo? Come on in, buddy. How's it going? Tomo. Um, we'll try using our lockpick here. Save our money for the next floor. Hey, it worked! And it's the Stinger. This is now our de facto boss killing weapon. Uh, no nothing else we have will come close. And I say that from a place of love and respect for all of our other weapons. The Stinger is a, um, a boss-killing machine. And now, instead of maybe having to buy a key from our shop, we, we took a little risk and find ourselves in a position where we might be able to afford HP from our, from our shop instead, uh, if we need it. And it's kind of a big if, but at the same time, I would invest in it, man. I think it's, like, absolutely appropriate for us. Also, having a better, uh, oh, I hate that we're gonna walk all the way around this. Having a better active item would be of the utmost importance. Lockpick is, um, deceptively terrible, I think. Occasionally gives you good value, but not nearly as much as a, uh, you know, a number, or a double, <laughs> double vision, I was gonna say a number two. Watch out for these, uh, like, lava pits in the ground here. They will light you on fire without so much as a, uh, a period of remorse. I assure you of this. Tomo! You want daddy to use the L or the membrane instead of the, uh... Instead of the moon scraper? Is that the case? Well, I guess we're leaving here. Hey, buddy. If you want to go, you can go. You don't need to be stuck in here with Ruka. I understand if you just want to say hi. We got 68 ammo left. Ah, uh, it's not a ton. I don't really want to buy ammo for the Moonscraper since we have other weapons that are at least functional. Maybe I'll buy one key and then get out of here. There's no junk salesman up there, right? No. Buy one key so that on the next floor, if we find a good chest early, we can just take it. Flame Hand might be okay as far as a room clearer goes, or even a boss. Like, you might as well ignite a boss, and then, um, you know, hit him with the stinger to, to roast him. But, uh, I think you have to be, like, a little scared of that. A little wary because of the fact that it can easily light you on fire as well. At least that's, that's my expectation. I haven't really used it, which, you know, is not a great defense there. Refilled the moon scraper. Might in time prove to be a mistake. Well, I basically hate this. <laughs> oh, that was bad. There's got to be something more effective at killing enemies quickly than uh, our laser in this situation. We've done it, though. Okay. No mimic. Ooh. Immunity to fire? Gas mask. Breathe deep. I mean, it, it's orange, that's why I thought it was immunity to fire as opposed to poison. Prevents poison damage. Okay, um... You know, for free, I'm not gonna be too disappointed with this. Good stuff, good stuff. Yeah, you know what, I think the moon scraper is still... What are you doing, cat? You're gonna attack my glass? Please don't do that. The moon scraper is still functional uh, as far as killing enemies goes. Oh god, we did it. Um, still functional as far as killing basic enemies goes. Little ammo inefficient for this stage of the game as compared with something like the Mega Hand, but, you know, as compared with something like the Mega Hand, everything is inefficient. Uh, okay, definitely cannot afford to be taking two hits per room here. It's a j uh, jammed, uh, ice trap, man. I did take some damage from stepping on the floor trap, which is the most embarrassing of all for me. You know what? Sure, nuke the nuke the ice man. Make your life easier. 
Watch out, occasionally these shots are actually going to be good. Alright, this floor is all about HP. Um, making it to the boss, we sting him. It's not going to take, you know, 40 shots with the stinger to kill our boss. In theory, at least. Assuming the shots actually hit. Running out of ammo here, big time. We got 69 shells. Uh, no junk salesman. Ooh, plenty of keys and a frost giant is okay. Shotgun full of love, wax wings, or a blank. I'm gonna take wax wings and the curses are stacking up now. Uh, I'll, I'll level with you on that. That's a little scary, but I think being able to be immune to traps and nail poison as well and uh, various status effects that, you know, like for example, falling into a pit, I'm pretty stoked to be able to just never have to worry about that again. Mind you, I do expect there will be negative repercussions as a result of uh, as a result of being cursed twice now. Roll the bones. Disarmed plus gift. So he gave me a hegemony carbine. Took away my um, my membrane. I gotta admit, membrane was pretty dope. I don't think it's likely that the hegemony carbine is gonna aspire to the same level of beauty. However, it does fire quickly, seems competent as a room clearer, which is really all I can ask for. But the, the membrane was a sad loss. Basically, I traded a gun for a gun, which is better than the gun muncher, but I traded a great gun for a decent gun. At least it wasn't, you know, great gun for fucking, you know, super soaker. But it's certainly, uh... I would say was probably a little bit of an inefficient trade from a I actually want to win the game standpoint. Gotta kill that jammed enemy, man. What? Did I get hit by one of the jammed bullets? They're so huge. That's alright, we got a little HP back. Oh. Things looking a little scary up in here. Up in here. Oh, okay, be careful. Maybe don't get so close. Now, cat, now's not the time. I love you. You're my best bud. You and Tomo are my surrogate sons. But for now, Daddy's got a job to do. Oh, jeez. <laughs> You're my best friend too, Tomo. You're my best friend too, Tomo. Oh! Oh! I got trapped in the door frame! I think... This run might be cursed in more ways than one, you know? You know what I mean? You probably know what I mean. Are you serious? You, you're gonna come in or are you gonna come out? What, how's this going? Whichever way you wanna do it, you let me know. If you wanna do it, do it right. Up and down, side to side. That, that's a Canadian sex rocker known as Danko Jones, who is apparently still somewhat popular in Sweden. I'm starting to think that maybe Danko Jones has never had sexual intercourse, though. It's in his song, I, I forget what it's called, it's like Lover Man or something. If you wanna do it, do it right. Hell yeah. Up and down, sure. Side to side, hmm. Less so. That is, that's not the way that you're supposed to do that. You're gonna end up sending somebody to the emergency room with your side to side motions there, Danko. Or someone's gonna send you to the emergency room. Either way, I mean, it's free up here, but still. I can't fight the boss in, in, these, in these situations, this criteria. Uh, I think we have to take kind of a Hail Mary which is a football term for we're probably fucked. Uh, let's go back and buy a key from our shop. And we're gonna go into our chest room. And our chest room is going to give us beehive, which I think is okay. We also, because of our mustache, spending money gave us HP. So you know what? Can we afford another key? Hilarious. I'm gonna take a blank. It did heal us. Now we got two and a half. I don't love our chances against the boss, but I think now we should try it. I don't know what I'm doing with the boomerang, by the way. Like, I'm, nothing is, I guess, the answer there. Um, okay, so it's a wallmonger. Wallmonger ain't no joke. Of course, you know, not only did we get the HP, but we also got the blank just for uh, just for doing business. 
I think we have a, an outside chance here. What's our HP at? One and a half? I don't like our long-term chances on this run at all. But our short-term chances might be acceptable. We are out of blanks officially now. Halfway through the fight. Yeah, that's not good. Are we immune to fire? Because if we're immune to fire with wax wings, we should be standing in the center, shooting as much as is plausible right at his face. Still a chance. We are immune to fire. Yo, that makes the center of this so much more palatable. And we beat the wallmonger. Uh, it was a little close, I think that's fair to say. We got the Siren, a Murr shotgun. And you know what? I think we got a bounce from this floor. If I'm gonna die, I'd rather die on the fifth floor. Let's head downwards here and see if we got a chance. That, as of right now, that situation, the fact that we beat Wallmonger with so little HP, with a, admittedly a great gun, um, makes me probably the proudest I've been in my play on a run in a long time. Last run we got probably further by the end of things, um, but we also had a, such a, an amazing situation uh, from a loadout perspective that, you know, I, I think it's incomparable. Watch out for this joker here. Get out of here! There we go. We managed to get him out of here. Um, we're gonna use our Murr shotgun, at least temporarily. We can fly here, so this room should not be as much of a challenge as it can often be. Dangerous dodge there, for sure. Oh, we gotta stop. Ah, that was bad. We gotta stop these guys from summoning! Most annoying ones are the ones that summon enemies. Yeah, this guy right here. A little close. Where are you going? Where are you going? I missed with about six shotgun blasts in a row there. A little embarrassing. We got one HP. That means a single jammed enemy could kill us. But I, I do have to admit. Oh my god, is this Tomo? Hey, buddy. I'm proud of this run. And I think that... Um, even though I, I, of course, was hoping for a, a victory. I can still... Oh... I can leave with my head held high if we die on this room. But I hope we get more HP. A chance to spend money to give us more HP would be awesome as well. Um, but, you know, I'm looking at this and I'm thinking it's fairly unlikely we live too much longer. Life goes on. Oh my god, he almost got me despite also falling into the pit of despair. Um, Life goes on. This is a good run that we made great with our own with our own play. You know what? You made it great with your involvement and watching it here. Tomo, get down from there. Don't pull on my whiteboard. I got all sorts of shit that I wrote down there three months ago that I still intend to do to this day. Don't blame this shit on the cats. This is not a cat distraction, nor is it a catastrophe, no matter how clever you think your wordplay is. Yo, that jammed dude was a real asshole. Don't kill me with my own fucking bullet, okay? Have some fucking respect. Where are you going? Right there, huh? Ah! He got me again, the dirty... Dirty dog! We've done it. Oh my god, we have another skeleton man. Oh, I got hit by the easiest of all enemies. Oh, that's okay. That was a good run. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.